The college is operating at a great peak right now. We dedicated our chapel. We celebrated the 175th anniversary. We're having a fantastic year in every respect. Students are great. It's an amazingly happy campus. And we reach more people than ever. And uh, so those are all blessings, and here they disrupted. What to do about this depends upon two things, and one is the personal health of the members of the campus community. Uh, they divide into students whom we must protect first, and staff who, however, are more vulnerable to this than the students, and of course they can get it from the students. And, uh, and so we have to think about the staff, too. Uh, we're not inviting the students back to campus yet, we're very reluctant to make that decision, and that's because what we do here is valuable. I mean, it's beautiful to me. It's what sustains me in my career for a long time now. And to all of us here, we get to think and talk together in friendship about the best things, and there is a disruption of that. And that is very bad. And don't mistake that it's not very bad, and that's why I promise you, the minute it's safe, we're going to go back to that. I'll just close with the story about how inspiring it is. There are these uh, roughly 50 kids, there are about 100 kids, 150 maybe, about 150, I think, kids on campus, didn't go home for spring break. 50 of them are in a spring break alternative, they call it. They're doing mission work around town, helping the poor and all kinds of projects. Uh, they're sleeping on the floor of the First Methodist Church, and they're eating spaghetti that they cook themselves at night, kids, you know. So I called them all in and we talked for an hour and a half about all this and I told them what I know about it and I asked questions and I let them answer. I asked them questions, they asked me questions, they proposed plans. They said, Dr. Arn, we have to get the students back here as fast as we can. This is what we do and we never get another chance to do this and we can take care of each other. I mean, it was a clamor. It was wonderful. I mean, I, it made me cry. Now, we didn't do what they said, right? And we feel small because of it. We did the right thing, but we didn't do the noblest thing. And doesn't it matter so much that the students here know what the noblest thing is and wish to serve it, even at risk to themselves? That is the preparation for a good life, the best possible preparation. And we get that here. It is such a blessing, I promise you. We're going to fight to preserve it and to keep your kids safe.